Welcome back to WAC. Today, I would like to bring up the topic of artillery in Conflict of Nations World War III and give my opinion on which one is the best. Artillery is one of those units like infantry. It's something that everyone should have. Reason being is that successful players will have armies taking paths made from many waypoints and take land and cities while they are sleeping or at work or school. Artillery allows you to respond to enemy threats while you are away, and if you purchase the Security Council, you can set them to the aggressive fire mode so that they can attack while traveling that path and then resume their movements afterwards. The main downside with artillery is that there is massive collateral damage to buildings and populations of cities, which will reduce your own country's morale and give you less victory points from those cities. In this game, there are three types of artillery. Toad artillery, mobile artillery, and multiple rocket launchers. Toad artillery are cheap and quick to produce, but have the largest amount of drawbacks, including having the shortest range. Mobile artillery, which I will be calling SPGs, short for self-propelled guns, are the fastest and healthiest form of artillery. Rocket artillery have the longest range and are basically middle of the road in most other ways. Worth mentioning is the Elite Railgun, which is a season unit. It has the same range as toad artillery, but packs a serious punch. At max level, it can attack both ground and air units, so if you can afford the production and research, it is a great asset to have. If we look at stats, we can get a more specific look at these units. We will examine the max level primarily because that is what really matters. If you are researching a bunch of level 1 units versus researching a few units to the max, you will likely not be doing too well. Toad Artillery is the absolute best against soft targets, costs the least amount of resources, and takes the least amount of time to mobilize. Can Air Assault and the Eastern version even gets a 20% bonus against armor. The downsides are that it of course has the least amount of range, hit points, and suffers greatly in jungle and forest. SPGs have the most amount of HP, are the fastest amongst default artillery, have the best defense, are great against armor, and have NBC protection. If you are in a country using the European Doctrine, you even get an extra 5% damage and an extra 20% HP! Damn! Downsides include the fact that they cost components to make, as well as not having as much range as rocket artillery. Rocket artillery are pretty great. They have a range of 100, do decent damage, but have very high cost and mobilization times. While I cannot say if they are in the game at the time you are watching this video, what I can say is that Elite Railguns are pretty good. They can attack both ground and air targets, which is what really makes them worthwhile. And they do massive damage against armor. Though some big downsides include its debuffs in mountains, forest, and jungle. They are also very expensive, and you can only mobilize 10 at a time. They also share the same short ground attack range that Toad Artillery have. Well, which one is the best? I think a lot of things in this game are pretty cut and dry, but the developers did a pretty good job at balancing these three units. The best in most situations is going to be rocket artillery. With radar or other scouting methods, you can hit any other ground unit before they hit you. This really counts for a lot because even if they have a stronger stack of enemies, artillery attacks will reduce their attack along with health before they can even reach you. SPGs are the best option if you are of the European Doctrine because the huge health and minor attack buffs are that good. Having SPGs in your stack increases overall durability versus if you use any other artillery piece. And honestly, they can be good in non-European type countries if you aren't going with a strong navy, as then you may be able to afford the component cost. Elite Railguns are a fun unit to have and certainly are good, but I would probably rather have rocket artillery and anti-air instead. In summary, rocket artillery are the best overall, and toad artillery are hardly worth it, unless you are of the Eastern Doctrine due to the 20% attack bonus versus armor. I hope this information was useful for you, 
and if you haven't tried any of these units, I encourage you to try them all out. Thank you so much for watching. I really do enjoy making these videos, and I have many, many more I plan to make.